James Price Point, Quandong Point and Bard Creek. It's so good to be back. It is amazing. It's so good. This is the best part about this trip. Yeah. It's got a bit bogged, so I'm letting some more air out of the tyres. Should we show them why we love this place? Have a look at it. Oh my God, it's like Esperance blue water. There's nothing better, eh? No. I love it. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. This week we are in Broome. So excited to be here. It's one of our favourite yep. towns in all of Australia. Been here once before, but we're really keen to try a few new things this yep. time around and bring you along with us. Yeah, it's incredibly busy. Yeah. And we don't even know how we snagged a spot for three nights at the caravan We park. got so lucky and there's a full festival season happening at the moment as well. Yep. So yeah, incredibly lucky. Yeah, so we got heaps to jam into this three days in Broome. Mm -hmm. So first spot I think everybody should come is Matzo's Brewing. So excited. So we're going for lunch guys, we're here now, let's get into it. So okay. <laughs> On our broom bucket list is the coconut well. So these are some rock pools that are north of Broome. I think you can actually access them from Cable Beach. We did a big loop, but now that we're here, I think you can pretty much get there from the beach. So it looks really like you can come that. from the beach, yeah. So yeah, rock pools, they look awesome. Have to visit some rock pools while you're in Broome. Thousands. Need to get in that water and not be scared of crocodiles, so. And on another note, the ribs, mate. The ribs were next level. I had such food envy. I was envy. pulling the bone out of the meat and they were glorious. My salad was really good, but compared to that, I was like, oh, oh what have I done? So if you come into the Matzo's place, you got to get ribs. The Matzo's the place. The Matzo's place, mate. That's what I'm calling it. Bit expensive, 35 bucks I think they were, but I mean. 33. You're on holidays, mate. <laughs> so just bloody get them. All right, we're going down to these rock pools. Found the rock pool. Yeah, that was wicked. That was I cool. Like that. I think the best time to come is midway between low and high tide. So I think yeah. as the tide is going yeah. out, out is the best time to visit. Yeah. I so. think right now it is as low as the tide goes. So it's pretty you cool. can pretty much spend don't have to worry about majority of the day here. So don't have to worry about crocodiles. Yeah. So now we've worked out that we can actually get onto the beach from where we are and drive all the way to the main cable beach. Mm -hmm. Uh, where everyone is. And that's going to be our sunset spot for tonight. It is going to be mint. If you haven't seen this beach, wait till you see it. It is spectacular. Well guys, it turns out uh, you kind of can't get there so because we're by ourselves and not risking trying to get to Cable Beach, so I am uh, letting the tyres down a little bit more and hopefully we get out of here before the bloody tide comes up. Otherwise we'll be one of those famous people that uh, gets bogged on Cable Beach. No, we should be alright. I'm not going to risk going, so I'm turning around. Do 
we made it. So we were on Cable Beach and we had to get ourselves some fish and chips because we decided it's a bit of a, um, wow that's massive, was that that big last time? Oh my god, look at it. Decided it's a bit of a tradition because last time we were here we never really did date night or anything like that for years because we were saving for the trip so it was a really special moment for us to come here and have a fish and chips have a little date night and it was like oh my gosh we've actually done it and now we've done a whole lap and we're here again so now i feel like we have to sit down and appreciate that we've actually done it i so think I, I every think time we come to broom now it's gonna be yeah really special every time we come to broom now so which i think will chips, be mate. oh that's chips oh my gosh we've spoiled ourselves today i'm so excited i'm so glad i got a salad for lunch now yeah Anyway guys, we're going to enjoy the sunset and we will uh, see you in the morning. Good morning guys. Good morning. Today we're doing something that surprisingly we've never actually done before. Nah. Which is like a full coastline hunt of a morning. So we just got on Google Maps on satellite view <laughs> and we're just having a look at what would be cool to come and have a look at. Yeah. And we have found an absolute gem here this morning. It's amazing. We've got pink sand, bright turquoise blue water and we've never seen anything nah. like this before. I don't think there's many places in Australia or maybe the world even where there's this many different coastlines in one place. Yeah, it's so really good. So we, uh, we've got the drone up and check this out. Come for some ice cream, guys. Oh, there's someone trying to reverse. Yeah, that's where I'm parking. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there is troopies everywhere here. Um, but yeah, apparently there's an ice cream shop. There it is there. Yeah, we decided to have ice cream for lunch because we were getting a bit hot. Uh, 34 degrees today, so. It says it's open, so I'm hoping it's bloody open. That's pretty cool. And we've scored the primo parking spot. <laughs> Does anybody else have the same problem as me and when they go into an ice cream shop or anywhere really? <laughs> you they... can't make a decision anywhere. <laughs> so you just get everything? <laughs> I got chocolate, chocolate trio, passion fruit and bubble gum. It sounds like such a disgusting combination. <laughs> Classic, eh? Hey? What did you get? I got mango sorbet and passion fruit and the passion fruit one tastes like a frozen yogurt. so good. Oh mate. Ali's, what is it called? Just Ellie's ice, ice creamery. Cream That's what it's called. Yeah. Yeah. Ellie must be the person serving us the ice cream. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we're going to, uh, what are we going to do now? 
Well, I think we're just going to head to the beach for the rest of the day okay, as well. The and something very, very exciting is happening tonight. Mm -hmm. It's a full moon and it's the staircase to the moon yeah. is happening tonight but on Roback Bay. Don't get too excited because we don't actually know we're not sure. if it's going to happen. Yeah, well, we're not sure. We actually don't know anything about it. We're just going to go there. We're just going to go to a flag on Wiki Camp to set as a good viewpoint because <laughs> I think the main one might be like a bit too busy for us. Oh, it's packed. Not yeah. really feeling the crowds. So. But anyway, hopefully it works out and we'll see you there. So sorry about the uh, crappy quality because we're on the iPhone here, but we are all set for the moon. <laughs> we should have got our food first. We didn't realize how long we've been waiting and the food smells so good. It does. It smells amazing. So yeah, hopefully this bloody moon comes up soon. <laughs> See you in a bit. Should have got our food before the moon came up because yeah. by the time we lined up for everything the lines were super long but then we got a sneak peek at the front of the line and everything was sold out anyway yeah, so i think people were just lining up for scraps of food so yeah. and um, uh I, I set the gopro up for a nice beautiful time lapse of the moon which was honestly spectacular the best that you could get on a and, uh, gopro anyway <laughs> i didn't even Put it on a time lapse. I put it on a video mode. Yeah, so, so we got a 15 minute video of the moon <laughs> almost coming up, and then I think the SD card had an error anyway. Oh, so it's an epic fail. Bit of a fail, but it was so cool. It was such yeah. an ex incredible experience. 100% recommend. If you're coming to Broome, you've got to go see that. Yeah, but uh, we still wanted a bit of a yeah. naughty dinner. So um, next best thing, mate. We got the next best thing. <laughs> Okay, good morning. We were originally planning to go and visit one last rock pool in Broome this morning, but yeah. turns out our bodies are not used to fast food nope. anymore. Won't uh, scar you with any details, but yeah, it's a bit, <laughs> of a rough, sick. bit of a rough night and yeah, decided to spend the morning in bed and so we missed the tired times now anyway. Yeah. so. Instead, we're just gonna head back to that wicked coastline full of free camps for a few days yep. uh, that we showed you in last week's video. It honestly is my favorite spot in WA. Yeah. It's the best. It's gonna be so hard to leave, but then after that, we're heading to Karajini. Yep. So I think that will be our next lot of vlogs that we'll- Yeah, we're gonna take a step back from vlogging for a while and we'll, uh, we'll see in Karajini. It's gonna be so good. 